now on Coast TV News. Speeding tickets in Maryland could go way, way up. Why some tickets could reach the thousands. Poor police station conditions. Why a new beach police station is needed. New safety measures. How Del Dot is altering Route 1 to prevent deadly accidents. Well, it's been a very warm day here along the coast, but cooler weather is returning. I'll be tracking the passage of a backdoor cold front. Coming up in just a this is Coast TV News at 5. Cracking down on speeding in a work zone in a major way. Good evening, I'm Madeline Overturf. And I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to our News at 5. We begin tonight with thousands of dollars in penalties proposed for Maryland drivers. Right now you could receive a $40 fine if a camera catches you speeding in a work zone. Maryland has the lowest fine out of any state for this offense. As Coast TV News reporter Kevin Zappé shows us, that fine could grow 25 times higher. Despite orange cones on Route 50, traffic keeps moving, and some say too fast. Like I'd say the majority of people are going over the speed, the posted speed. And people don't seem to follow the rules no. on no. any road these no. days. No, they don't slow down at all. Right now, speeding in a work zone is a $40 ticket if caught by camera. A new bill would increase that to 290 To pile on more, if you are caught speeding three times in a work zone within one year, that fine could be $1,000. Jonathan Topping says this is a necessary change. Um, I have worked in work zones near the road. Um, most of the time, people are, are reasonable with their speed and slow down, but there are some that um, will speed up, and it definitely causes a safety issue for those that are working you know, on the side of the road. Some people think the proposed fine increase is too high. I do believe they need to raise the uh, fine on that, but I think the 290 is excessive, maybe half of that. And for repeat offenders, then I can see the 290. If the speeding bill is approved, it'll be in full effect by the beginning of 2025. I'm Kevin Zappé in Ocean City, Coast TV News. And this brings us to our Coast TV poll. We want to know if you think Maryland's proposed fine increase for those speedings in construction zones. Is that justified? Let's take a look at the results. So far, 74% believe that is necessary, though the minorities there say not enough or too high. I think, and I think people are pointing out this is in work zones specifically, not just any speed. Yeah, ticket. specifically in work zones, although we may see these numbers change. They tend to do that throughout the night. You can have a say in it. All you have to do is go to coasttvnews.com or use our Coast TV mobile app. After 20 years, the Dewey Beach Police Station is getting a well-deserved upgrade. Due to its size, the department says the station is inadequate because it's not designed to handle prisoners, interviews, or other police-related activities. According to the town, all police stations in the state will have to meet the Delaware Police Station certification for stations within the next five years. One Dewey Beach business owner says in the last year he's seen a real improvement in how the town is patrolled, so he's excited to see the hard work rewarded. Now we have 24-hour uh, surveillance. It's good to have somebody you can go to. These are policemen that, that are friends with the business community, friends with your friends of, of, of people that live here. They, they stop by and say hello. They, they check on your doors at 2 o'clock in the morning to see if somebody left the door open. Uh, it's been fantastic. I mean, and the growth has been perfect. And we need it. We say we need it. This is Dewey Beach, but this is Route 1. The Dewey Beach Police Department is not the only department getting an upgrade. The town says an entirely new town hall building also being built as part of that project. It should break ground this fall. If bicycle and pedestrian safety means a lot to you, the city of Milford is looking for your input. The city is going to host a public input meeting on Tuesday, February 6th from 6 to 8 p.m. That event will take place at the Public Works facility in Milford. This open house will center around a recent study that seeks to identify gaps in the pedestrian and bicycle network and provide future recommendations for the city. Officials will be on hand to answer questions. Tiny homes are going to be in the spotlight next week for Sussex County at the County Council meeting. Sussex County Planning and Zoning will be sharing a presentation on small housing units such as garage apartments like the one you see there on your screen. These accessory dwelling units also include apartments over garages or in basements. That's happening 9 a.m. Tuesday, January 30th. 
Del Dot will be adding a cable barrier in parts of Route 1's median following three deadly accidents where cars ran off the road and into oncoming traffic. An 18-mile span of the highway from Magnolia to Lincoln is part of Del Dot's plans to lower instances of crossing Route 1 with barriers or overpasses. People who drive in Milford say barriers would be safer in this case, in the, in the case of an accident. I mean, obviously there's a lot of people that they drive fast, you know, they don't even go the speed limit, so I feel like that should be good. I mean, especially for people that don't know how to drive. <laughs> Del Dot says you can expect construction to begin mid-February. The project will be done April of 2025. We're taking a live look now into Lewis from our tunnel and razor camera there. Let's check in with our meteorologist Alex Seymour who's in for Paul Williams tonight. Alex, you were saying before the broadcast temperatures are all over the place. Yeah, yeah temperatures are certainly all over the place across Del Marva. As you saw on that ton of razor camera in Lewis this evening, it's pretty foggy there. Backdoor cold front already arrived there. Temperatures, they've fallen a good 20, 25 degrees in Lewis down into the upper 40s to low 50s. In Ocean City, we've kind of been hovering in the 50s all day, but it's clear skies out on our Gateway Subaru camera at the Commander Hotel. Actually looks gorgeous out there. Temperatures, though, sitting right around 52 degrees. Bay Health. Kent Campus camera. Also, backdoor cold fronts move through. We've got the clouds. We've got the fog. Temps sitting right around 55 degrees. But take a look at these temps all across, really, Sussex County and Delmarva. We're in the 50s and 60s at the beaches. You move inland, 72 in Lewis at the beach itself. It's in the low 50s. 74 in Redden, 70 in Georgetown, 73 in Millsboro. It's warm out there inland, but it will be falling. Back to our cold front moves through within the next couple of hours. We'll all be in the 50s by about 8 to 9 p.m. this evening. Thank you. For more weather updates, be sure to pull out your phones and scan the QR code for our first alert weather app. You can download the app for free to get all the weather updates you need. It's not where you want to see these. Tires have been found littering beaches in Delaware recently. Hundreds of them found washed ashore at the Indian River Inlet, Bethany Beach, South Bethany, even Fenwick Island. It's believed the tires have dislodged from old artificial reefs placed off the coast in the 70s, the 80s, the 90s. Recent storms have moved them onto our coast. After those like huge, you know, epic swells we had, um, I came to South Southside just to check the surf. And uh, just all the way down the beach here, I saw dozens, actually hundreds of tires. Denrec believes that more tires are going to wash up. The agency recommends people who find tires on the beach, just like you see here, roll them above the high tide line near the dune and then report them so that they can be properly disposed and cleaned up. Looking for some tax relief? Certain Delaware homeowners can now benefit from just that. The deadline to apply for the Senior School Property Tax Relief Program, that's April 30th. Delaware homeowners who are 65 or older are eligible for a tax credit that can be applied against regular school property taxes. The maximum amount of the credit is half the recipient's tax obligation or $500, whichever is less. This credit can only be used against property taxes on a primary home. Senate negotiators are set to work through the weekend to come to an agreement on tightening border security. NBC's Alice Barr shows us how the debate comes as the United Nations' highest court today ordered Israel to do everything it can to prevent genocide in Gaza. On Capitol Hill, political pressure is colliding with the race to reach a deal on some of the most pressing priorities facing Congress, funding for Israel, Ukraine, and the U.S. southern border. Negotiators will work all weekend in an effort to get this done. Any progress in the Senate appears threatened by former President Trump urging GOP lawmakers to not accept any deal short of an essentially perfect border. The issue now dividing Republicans. He does not want us to solve the problem at the border. Uh, he wants to lay the blame for the border at Biden. I'm glad he's weighing again against this deal because from what I understand of it, I don't like it. Republican and House Speaker he, Mike Johnson he, writing he, to his colleagues, quote, if rumors about the contents of the draft proposal are true, it would have been dead on arrival in the House anyway. But some in the party are warning against walking away. This is the most leverage I've seen Republicans have in terms of getting legal changes to a broken immigration system 
in a very long time. In the crosshairs of the border fight, funding for Ukraine as it rapidly runs out of weapons and ammunition, and money for Israel amid fresh scrutiny over its war tactics. The United Nations International Court of Justice ruling Friday that Israel must do everything in its power to prevent genocidal acts in Gaza. The court stopped short of ordering the full ceasefire Palestinian supporters wanted. As the legal process continues, Israel's prime minister is calling accusations of genocide outrageous and vowing to keep fighting to destroy Hamas. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. CIA Director William Burns is set to meet with leaders from Israel and Qatar this weekend, trying to reach a breakthrough on negotiations to secure release of more hostages that Hamas is still holding in Gaza. We are thrilled to announce Coast TV has a brand new Facebook page. For the latest in news, exclusive content, and interactive discussions, make sure to visit and follow our new page. Just head over to facebook.com slash coasttvnbc or scan the QR code appearing on your screen. Please stay connected with us. Coming up, capturing the beauty of Bethany Beach. That's a great shot right there. Details on the perks of a photo contest going on right now. Well, cooler weather is marching its way back onto Damarva. I'll be tracking the cool down. Coming up in just a few minutes. Icy cold, cool things to do for the last weekend of January. Coming up, the taste tours and trucks that will take you into the wild this weekend. Happy New Year from the dealership that puts you, the customer, first in everything we do. First State Chevrolet in Georgetown. Save up to $5,000 on this 2024 Chevy Silverado. Interest rates as low as 1.9% and 2250 off these 2024 Chevy Equinox. Sales, service, parts, body shop, and towing, all at one convenient location in Georgetown, one mile north of the DMV. We are First Aid Chevy in Georgetown, where we put you, the customer, first. Buy new roads. Lupo Italian Kitchen in downtown Rehoboth Beach has been serving award-winning Italian food since 2008. Located inside the Hotel Rehoboth, Lupo serves traditional and coastal Italian cuisine, pairing Mediterranean flavors with fresh seafood and local produce. Lupo has an extensive all-Italian wine list, monthly wine dinners, and a friendly and knowledgeable staff. Popular dishes include chicken parmesan, lobster bucatini, and veal meatballs. Lupo Italian Kitchen on Rehoboth Avenue, serving happy hour daily and open seven days a week. See you soon. At Spicer Brothers, we're not just about installing roofs. We're about protection, durability, and peace of mind. Our team of skilled professionals can install your last roof using the highest quality materials in as little as one day. And we make it easy with on-site design and digital proposal. And right now, save $1,000 off your new roof. Plus, have peace of mind with our Platinum Plus Lifetime Warranty. And the best part, enjoy no interest and no payments for 18 months. Call today and schedule your free in-home consultation because you deserve the best. Embrace a new journey and kickstart your New Year's resolution in a brand new Subaru from Gateway Subaru. Discover the 2024 Subaru Outback, which represents Subaru's commitment to safety, innovation, and adventure. Right now, lease a new 2024 Subaru Outback for only $2.99 a month, or take advantage of financing rates as low as 1.9%. Plus, Gateway has more in-stock Subaru inventory to choose from than other dealers have combined. Love, it's what makes a Subaru a Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. This is Coast TV News at 5. It's the last weekend of January, kind of hard to believe. And even though it's in the 70s some places, the icy action is still underway in one coastal community. I can't wait to see what some of these things go with. <laughs> Coast TV News anchor Mallory Metzner shows us the coolest things to do this weekend. Head into the wild in Bethany Beach to experience a wintry wonderland. The Fire and Ice Festival is back with a new theme. Over 60,000 pounds of ice is coming to the quiet resorts. There's sculpture tours, live ice carvings, and my personal favorite, the ice rink, which is at Lord's Landscaping in Millville this year. The chili cook-off sparks friendly competition between local restaurants to benefit the Millville Volunteer Fire Company. Take the tasting tour to find themed cocktails at businesses in the Bethany Fenwick area. Bird lovers are flocking to the beaches for the 9th annual Winter Delmarva Dogfish Birding Weekend. There are walking and hiking tours in places like Cape and Lopen State Park, Prime Hook, and the Indian River Inlet. The Wheelhouse is hosting a tally rally Saturday afternoon for those interested to see which species were spotted and to learn about local birding hotspots. 
There are no limits for these monster trucks. They'll be back in Salisbury this weekend for wheelie contests, monster truck rides, and races. The Wicomico Youth and Civic Center says kids ages 3 to 9 years old can enter to drive their own Power Wheels racer. Tickets can be purchased online or at the box office before you roll into this exciting event. Grab your golden ticket. The Milton Theater has showtimes through Sunday for Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the student main stage production. The theater says this candy coated adventure is made to be viewed by all ages. There is an interactive map for the Fire and Ice Festival. I have a link to explore it as well as full event schedules and ticket information for all of these cool things to do in the article on CoastTV.com. Brought to you by North Bay Marina, where boaters have the most fun. Have you just inherited a home or property and are feeling overwhelmed? First of all, secure what's now become yours against weather, theft, and trespassers. Keep it maintained or you could face costly repairs and fines. Keep up with the mortgage and taxes or face foreclosure. And before you sell, if that's an option, be sure to contact a professional home buyer. Delmarva Dave is here to help. For more information about Delmarva Dave, visit DelmarvaExperts.com. Time for a new mattress? If you're not sleeping well, Johnny Genosics Mattress World is here to help. It's your one-stop mattress superstore with the area's largest selection. And right now, purchase any mattress of $1699.95 or more, and we'll throw in a free pillow set, a free sheet set, and $400 off any Rise Home Power Base. Plus, get free same-day mattress delivery, and fantastic financing options are available too. Shop Johnny Genosics Mattress World today. Have you or someone you love experienced crawl space neglect? Has your crawl space been exposed to damaging moisture? Call the Dry Tech hotline now to speak with someone who understands the problem. We've helped thousands of crawl spaces across Delmarva get the result they deserve. Let our team mitigate the muddy waters for you, seek damages, and make it right. And you don't pay a dime until we solve your crawl space problem guaranteed. Call 410-543-4848 or visit ncrawlspaceneglect.com. Remember, if you have a phone, you can call Dry Tech. From the stories you should know. Get out, get out. To the stories you need to know. Ah, cheers. cheers. Inside Edition. These are the stories that impact your life. Today at 530 on Coast TV. Have you bought a house in the last decade, but it's just not quite big enough? At Paul Davis, we can design and build you a brand new addition or remodel your whole home from start to finish. With over 50 years experience of building and restoring homes, we've made the process quick and easy while making it affordable. Call Paul Davis today and one of our design consultants can be at your home as soon as tomorrow to give you a free estimate for your new addition or whole home remodel. Or visit our new showroom in Salisbury, Maryland, 100 Marble Road. Weather is brought to you by Paul Davis Restoration and Home Remodeling, the Difference Makers. Well, depending on where you are, you're either seeing a pretty chilly evening or you're seeing a really warm evening across the area. Right now, as I take a live look out on our gutter helmet camera at the Ocean View VFW, in Ocean View, that's one of the warm locations this evening, but if you look off in the distance towards the Indian River Inlet Bridge, there's clouds, there's some fog off there in the distance. That is going to be moving inland, and with it, some much cooler temps. But right now, it's 69 degrees in Ocean View. Take a look at these temps across the region. This 72 in Lewis, absolutely wrong. I don't know why the temperature map hasn't updated, but it is currently 47 degrees in Lewis. So, significantly cooler. We've fallen a good 20, 25 degrees. Rehoboth Beach, also 60 degrees. Not correct, it's sitting right around 49 degrees. Um, these are just taking their time to update. The temperatures are dropping rapidly when this colder air reaches the area, so that's probably why it's just within updates of the temperature map. It is correct that it's 70 degrees in Milton currently. It's 72 in Millsboro, 70 in Georgetown, 70 degrees in Del Mar right now. So much warmer inland this evening, much cooler at the coast, even Ocean City, 49 degrees right now. Winds rather light. The wind's not going to be an issue. It's just those cooler temperatures that are starting to move back in as we see a backdoor cold front start to sink south. And with that backdoor cold front passage, we're going to start to see those clouds increase like we're seeing right there along the coast. And also the increase of some marine fog that will push inland. So expect some reduced visibilities as the sun begins to set and we start to go into the dark. 
Clouds also going to increase because we have a cold front off to our west. There's a plain cold front off to our west that is going to slide through the region. So clouds, fog, that is all expected throughout the evening hours. And as we head throughout the overnight hours, it's temps by 9 p.m. They're down in the 40s and 50s all across Delmarva. And we're going to stay in the 40s through Saturday morning. This is 8 a.m. Saturday morning. The gray, the white shading here across Sussex County, the beaches, and then even inland Sussex County. This is all fog, dense fog that's likely going to be impacting the region. So if you are hitting those roads early Saturday morning, just be aware that you're going to be driving through some pretty dense fog. You want to take your time and maybe just try to avoid hitting those roadways until that fog has a chance to burn off. It will burn off by late morning. Then we look at partly cloudy skies, temps in the 40s and 50s throughout Saturday afternoon. But the big story. This weekend is going to be the rain that starts to push into the area by 8.30, raining, and then we deal with moderate to heavy rain throughout the overnight hours, Saturday night, heading into the midday, mid-morning hours of Sunday, and then showers, they actually linger throughout much of the daytime hours on Sunday. We may even see some snowflakes flying by Sunday night into Monday morning. No accumulations are expected, but rainfall totals could be significant. We're talking about rainfall totals over an inch across the region that could result in some localized flooding. Our Paul Davis frustration and home remodeling 7 day forecast 56 with showers on Saturday. First low weather day for that heavy rain on Sunday and then much cooler throughout next week. Thank you, Alex. Are you interested in seeing your pictures on a town calendar? If so, Bethany Beach has the right opportunity for you. The Bethany Beach photo contest is accepting submissions through Wednesday, January 31st. That is coming right up. Prizes include a 2024 VIP parking pass. Those are handy. In addition to inclusion in the town calendar and the town's broader marketing efforts, photos must be taken in Bethany Beach. Entries are limited to three per participant, amateur or professional. In health news, measles cases are on the rise. The CDC is warning health providers to be on alert following several outbreaks, largely among unvaccinated children. Health officials have tracked nearly two dozen cases of the virus since December, this comes as vaccine rates have dropped in the U.S. According to the CDC, the country reached a record level of vaccine exemptions last school year. Coming up, crushing cars and diverting drivers. A road closure in Salisbury that drivers are going to need to watch out for for the weekend. That's near the Civic Center. Stay tuned on Coast TV News at 5. Our family is passionate about providing outstanding health care in an atmosphere that feels like home. Here at John B. Parsons, our residents and their loved ones enjoy visiting in the inviting parlors and the charming sunrooms or relaxing on our beautiful front porch. Our dedicated professionals who care for each resident with dignity and respect. We promise to do our best to meet every need at Harrison Senior Living. Our family caring for yours for 50 years. Watch for the IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep. Burton at the beach. We're discounting Buick SUVs all month long, like 5250 off a new Buick Enclave, plus monthly payments starting at just 199 per month. Nobody beats a Burton deal on Buick SUVs. Nobody. I was feeling pull-ups. I didn't feel them out. I when it got checked, and that's when I realized the situation I was in. It just hit me like a ton of bricks. BB was there for me, and they staff was brilliant. They was understanding. For somehow, something that I didn't even understand, they understood me. Now that I look back, I can say they were there. Sometimes more understanding than my family, because they knew the answers. They really went beyond. For the world's greatest athletes, there is nothing like competing on the world's biggest stage. An Olympics unlike any other. The Paris Olympics. Catch the Paris Olympics right here on Coast TV. Burton at the beach. Get 8250 off a new GMC Sierra 1500 four wheel drive or drive home in a new GMC Terrain all wheel drive for just 259 per month. Nobody beats a burden deal on GMC SUVs. Nobody. You may think your home's crawl space is okay, but chances are it's not. Mold, pests, and rotting beams can all cause problems for your home and for your family. The good news is your home's crawl space problems can be fixed permanently so you and your family can rest easy because crawl space problems won't get better with time. 
but they will get better with us. Call Dry Zone today for your free estimate. Brought to you by Dry Zone, your local crawl space experts. A local monster truck show is causing some weekend road closures in Salisbury. A portion of Glen Avenue between St. Albans Drive and Civic Avenue will be closed tonight and tomorrow from 5 to 10.30 p.m. each day for the No Limits Monster Truck Shows. Organizers say the closure will allow safe pedestrian crossing prior and after the show. Over 52 grams of powder cocaine were found in a Dover home and two arrested. Two people were arrested during a, sun, a search warrant on Deborah Drive. Antonio Malloy and Jenny Jenny Fagan, rather, both from Dover, are now facing charges. These include possession of a controlled substance, possession with intent to deliver, and second-degree conspiracy. Police say drugs found on the property also include half a gram of heroin, 32 grams of crack cocaine, and 54 grams of crystal meth. Most parents expect to pay for their children until they become adults, but many say they're still financially subsidizing their now-adult children sometimes until their late 20s and 30s. Pew Research Center found about a third of young adults between 18 and 34 are still living with a parent, as many have more student loan debt. But today's young adults are more likely to have college degrees and earn more money on inflation-adjusted basis than their parents did 30 years ago, according to Pew. We'll be right back. Hi, this is Warren Rosenfeld from Rosenfeld's Jewish Deli. Come visit Rosenfeld's in Rehoboth Beach on Coastal Highway just north of the outlets. See our much talked about wall murals and stay for the best corned beef, pastrami, Rubens and outrageous desserts. We hope to feed you soon. Sometimes it takes a different approach. Hey, that's Mrs. Johnson, right? Great. To see the possibilities all around you. You gonna have a big birthday party? With Capella University's game-changing FlexPath format, you can earn your nursing degree without putting life on hold. Imagine your future differently with Capella University. Discover Coastal Delaware's ultimate senior living experiences at the lodges of Coastal Delaware. With locations in Rehoboth Beach or Lewis, you can dive into a world of sun, sea, and sand every day. Whether independent living, assisted living, or memory care, here residents enjoy a lively community of friends, laughter, and endless activities. Savor amazing food or grab a drink. The possibilities are endless. Join us and ride the wave of senior living at its finest. No matter the lifestyle you're seeking, we've got options for you. There's a joy that comes with building your new home on your lot, walking through your design, noticing the little things you visualized come to life, the progress, the completion, and the move-in to your new home. At Berica, we specialize in building strong, energy-efficient homes, custom-built in our factory and finished on your lot, wherever that may be. Tour our model homes and factory at our main office in Greenwood. We're happy to help you begin your journey in building your new Berica. Start online today at barricahomes.com. Thursday through Monday only, it's time to save some serious money. You'll love the savings at Johnny Genosik's five-day sale. Through Monday only, save up to 50% store-wide. Plus, take an extra 10% off our everyday low prices, including clearance items. Get this traditional sofa, only $899.95. Or a power-reclining swivel glider, only $799.95. Save up to 50%, plus an extra 10% off. But the five-day sale ends Monday at Johnny Genosik. Hi, this is Warren Rosenfeld from Rosenfeld's Jewish Deli. Come visit us at our original location on 63rd Street in Ocean City. Voted one of the top 10 restaurants in Maryland, try our famous deli sandwiches, canishas, hot dogs, and dessert. We hope to feed you soon. Coming up new on Coast TV News at 6, Milton to vote on water system improvements, the funding a referendum aims to secure for the town. Well, it's been pretty warm throughout most of the day across Delmarva, but temperatures are starting to fall. Right now, as you take a live look out on our Tindo Schedule Furniture Camera in Laurel, 68 degrees, still pretty warm there, but at the beaches, we've already fallen into the 40s. Everybody falls in the 40s and 50s overnight as clouds and fog develops. Rain moves in late Saturday, continues throughout Sunday. First look weather day on Sunday. We're talking about rainfall totals over an inch across many areas. We do dry out next week. 
for several days, but it stays mostly cloudy. Many of those days as temperatures remain in the 40s. Alex, thank you. Thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 5. For more news, for more local weather, download our Coast TV News app. Inside Edition is up next. And we're going to see you later tonight for Coast TV News at 6. Have a great evening.